All right, first I really like to thank everybody coming out. Um, my father was uh, a firefighter, came from a family of firefighters. My grandfather was a firefighter. Uh, his his father was a firefighter, so it basically runs in my family. My brother's actually going to be a firefighter. So this, this runs in my family. I mean, my father loves his job. There's nothing more in the world, I mean, except for probably his family. He, he loved his job to death. He would not do anything other than that. He um, actually, the summer before 9-11, was, he was on medical leave. He had a hernia operation. So, he was with us the whole summer. Thank God I got to spend the last summer with my father. You know, he was, went on vacation, got the whole summer spent with him. And his first day back to work was September 11th. And um, they wanted to put him on light duty, meaning they wanted to keep him uh, in the firehouse, answering the phones. He refused. He said, I'm a fireman, not a secretary. He said, I, I'm, I'm going to work no matter what. And I could just imagine if my father wasn't there that day, I could imagine how he would feel that he didn't go with his brothers in, into, into those buildings. My father would be a very, very broken man. And, um, you know, ever since, I, I, ever since that day, I believe this story for, the official story for all about two minutes. And uh, I, I, I always have my questions, you know, my family had their questions. and. Uh, the government sent us the 9-11 the uh, commission, or I should say omissions, really. But um, they, they sent us that, and I read the whole thing, and as I'm reading the whole thing, I, it, was, it was just incredible that, that the lies in, in this book. It's like, I don't, I don't even remember how many pages, it's like a thousand pages, something like that. But it's, like, it, it's in the short or long, whatever, but it was... It was just, it hurt me to read this book. And, and then I, I researched it on the internet and I seen, I, I noticed the little squids coming out of the building as, as they're coming down, because I've seen it a million times as everybody else did. And I'm, I'm like, gee, what's that? I, I'm, you know, I'm wondering what's going on. So um, a friend of mine actually gave me a loose change. And I seen that and I was amazed. I was so amazed when I seen it. I. I seriously, I broke down. I, I didn't sleep that night. I was just insanely like distraught about it. And um, so I, I joined this group, the 9-11 the Truth, and then uh, I went to the, the Truth Rally in Cooper, uh, Great Hall, Cooper Union, September 10th. I've been down to the Trade Center every year with my family. This year, I was with my other family, and it felt better than anything I've ever felt before. I mean, the truth to actually be out there and, and know that, that I'm fighting for something that's right and something that's, that's American, because that is the American way. My father was a true patriot. My father hung up the flag every day and took it down every night. My father was a true, true patriot. And I will follow in his footsteps. And I, I tried so hard, I'm gonna try to the death of me to get him justice. Not only him, the 3,000 others that died too. The, I, I, when I go down to the trade center, I, and I, I don't start crying until I actually see other families mourning for their, their, their family members. The people that went in there just for a nine to five job, just worked there every day doing whatever, you know, their office jobs. And I, when I see that, that just upsets me more because my father knew, knew what he was doing. And um, on another note, actually, the fire department, they took us down about maybe two months, three months after, after it happened, um, and they let us listen to uh, the recordings of, of their, you know, their radio contact. And I actually heard my father's last words was, calm, calm, as, as we're talking right now, he, was, he said, I'm trapped in the elevator. We're going to try to hack my way out. Um, I'll, you know, get back to you when, boom, that's it radio contact was. And, you know, when I heard that, that was just, that made me so sick to my stomach. And it still makes me sick. And uh, I just wanted to say this, this guy outside actually just told me, uh, stop talking about five years ago. And I told him I will never stop talking about five years ago. Yeah. Even, even if it's 20 years from now, 30 years from now, I'm never going to stop talking about it. 
As I said before, my father, is a, my father is a patriot, I'm a patriot, and everybody in this room that believes in truth and wants to find justice is a patriot. Because this is America. We, it is of the people, for the people, and by the people. And that's the America that I know. And that's the America that I'm going to defend, no matter what. But, so, um, in conclusion, I'd just really like to say thank you for everybody coming out, and we are going to keep up this fight to the end, till the very end. Like um, my man said before, he said, they, they took her from the top to the bottom, we're going to take her from the bottom to the top.